Hi guys and welcome to another Windows tutorial. Today we're going to look at how to deploy applications using group policy. To get started the first thing you need to do is create a shared folder like I've done so here. You need to put the application in this shared folder so that everyone can get to it. So your um, permissions should look like the following if I just have a look at properties here. Administrator has read and write access, administrators are the owner and everyone has read and write access. And then this folder is accessible for the client by going to wthd-dc-1 backslash apps like so. So the first thing you need to do is put the application you want to deploy into that folder. Now the application that you deploy must be in the .msi format. Executable files or exe will not work. So we've got our file in there. Before we make the group policy I'm going to copy and paste this UNC path which you'll see why in a second if I go to administrative tools group, po group policy management now I'm going to drill down into where I want this installed which is on my Windows 7 PCs so what I'm going to do once I get rid of this is I'm going to right click on Windows 7 and select create a GPO in this domain and link it here. I'm going to call it 7 zip and I'm going to right click on it here and select edit. Okay so to deploy the application it needs to go under computer configuration, policies, software settings, software installation and then new package and obviously it's taken me by default to this UNC path but if, you, if you're taking it somewhere else then copy paste it into the address bar here like so and select the application it's going to ask you for a deployment method I'm going to leave it assigned because it's just the easiest to do and click OK so you'll see that it's here if you click properties you can see different things about it you can also tick this if you need to if the application doesn't install upgrades categories modifications I haven't made any and security which can be left as it is so okay now to deploy the application what we need to do is go back to the Windows 7 PC that I'm on that's on my domain in that Windows 7 group in the Active Directory if I just show you quickly here Windows 7 this is where my PC is and that's where I linked the group policy for 7-zip so on here what I need to do is go start bring up a command prompt and put in GP update or one word space forward slash force hit return and give it a second now it's going to ask you to reboot so say Y and return and then Windows would reboot in a second. Also, while you're waiting, as it reboots, the computer will take a few more seconds or a couple of minutes more than usual to install the software. You won't actually see it install though because it will just say, please wait while it's doing it, as we'll see in a minute.
Okay, now the computer is ready again. I can log in very ungracefully. Send control delete. So Okay, now the computer is ready again. What we will see is if we go start, there we go, start, <laughs> you'll see 7-zip is installed. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. Look out for more coming very soon.